Or we already have four. Four minus three is? I didn't know. Two what? Thank you. 234. But is four minus three really two? What is four minus two? Or four minus three? Did one of us have the right answer? Yeah, we did. Nice job. Okay, so your answer becomes one. You got that one. Here's my question for you now. But we really need to understand the place value. We really need to understand ones, tens, and hundreds. So can you write that in expanded form? Kelsey's on the right track. Kelsey, why don't you come up and why don't you write one over there before in expanded form? Read our next one. I know. You've got that down. You know what's so important about that is the place value. You understand that six is in my mouth. Six. Fourteen. What does this say? What does this sign say? Fourteen. Plus. No, you've got it. Beautiful. You were doing great. You're right here. Fifteen. Look at my mouth. Thirteen. Say it with me. 14 plus 13. So what's your next step? Boys and girls, like I was just talking to Kelsey, the importance of 60 is you guys yep. expanded form. I'll come back when you're ready. Alright, does he have this lined up correctly? What do you guys think? No. Let's draw this line right here. Ones, tens, hundreds. Do you think you have to change your entire answer? All right, Dylan. Dylan, have a look at this. What do you guys think now? Kelsey, what do you think? All right. Now, we don't want to keep it horizontal like this. We want to write it vertically, just like you did on the board. All right. So. Okay, I see 535. I see 545. Don't worry, I'll call you over after, okay? Of 660. 540? Okay. All right, we still all have different answers. Can we all be right? No. Unfortunately, not in math. So let's see what we need to do. Yeah, we have to ungroup because we can't do 1 minus 7, okay? So we're going to ungroup from what place? Anybody else? All right. Okay, last question. This is your division question. Put your card down when you see your name up there. Okay. Okay, so inside your math um, course, you're going to click on that, go all the way down to the bottom, and your clickers options for today. If you struggled with question one, if that was a difficult one for you to answer, you're going to click on this assignment. Inside that assignment, you have a video that you can click on. Watch that video from unit seven. When you finish that video, there's your learning target. I can use order of operations to simplify expressions. Go to this simplify expressions game. Play the game. See if you're getting it. Um, when you finish that, if you want to go to other Plickers options, you are welcome to do that. There's equivalent fractions. Same thing. You're going to have a link to a video. You're going to have a link to a game. Okay. Learning target is on each one of these, so you can see which skills that you need to practice. Um, 
If you would like to go to another one, you may. If you think that you have gotten what you need from the videos, there are games around the room that have to do with those specific skills. I also would appreciate if some of you went on to Flipgrid and the iPads are ready for you. The code is on the board. Um, so click on, on Flipgrid and explain your thinking. So if you want to explain how you divide with decimals, click on this one. Make us just a quick minute, minute, or minute and a half response about how you would move the decimal when you solve that division problem. If you need to use a whiteboard, you're welcome to use a whiteboard, but you ne might need a partner to um, move that whiteboard around with your flip grid. Okay? Questions? Okay? All right, everybody breathe. <laughs>